is this, man. After 24 years, 23 years, 10 months, you came out and you got the project, Hug the Block, man. And even with that being said or whatever, it's like the dedication. And I done seen you right now on social media, whereas giving away money. Whereas I don't see no other, them saying like as far as blogger, YouTuber doing that, like giving back. I done seen you right now several times giving away iPad, all type of different electronic, giving away cash money. Even I came on your platform and I answered one of the questions, you was going to cash at me. So to me, like, you know, right now is you're not a selfish individual. You're all about the people and you're all about giving back, man. Where did all that come from, man? From a person that only they wanted to do was destroy and destruct and take away from people. Now, the new Terrence, like helping, you know what I'm saying? Loving, caring, being responsible, giving back. Islam. Islam. Because, honestly, bro, because when I was, when I was on the street, I didn't care about nobody. I didn't, if you were in my media circle, I didn't care about you. So um, it wasn't until I started uh, studying early that I realized that I have to be more caring and loving to reach the people. Um, I believe uh, from what the prophet Peter be going to tell us, we are like strangers, just like a, we like we travelers like in this world. This is not our final destination. I don't cherish a lot of this stuff that a lot of people do. Because I can't take it with me, and and if I can help a person, I don't mind. I'm always like, you know, so I'm always show them, I'm always help a person out, and that's just me, you know. I'm always be like that, and like I tell everybody, and I've been telling people for the longest, even on my videos. When you see me do videos against my internet ops, that's the fool is gonna go. I'm not going back to the streets. They're not gonna pull me back to the streets because I am enjoying my freedom. You know what? Like I say, that's what it's all about, man. Enjoying your freedom, man. Like you out, you free. And like I tell you right now, man, like you know, you just celebrated one year. How long you been out now? One year, one month, and, and about two weeks. One year, one month, and two weeks, but yet you still regards what? You became an overnight sensation, man. You know, because the love and the message that you're pushing through on these social media, on YouTube, on your Roka TV, on Instagram, you out there and you spread in as far as right now is positive energy. Like to me, I'm like this. I done did everything from A to Z, hurt, destroyed my community, me kill people, took away. I didn't did all that. And right now is I admit and see where I went wrong. So that's why I'm trying to right my wrong. And I think like right now, what I love it, we on that same journey. How do we get back? How do we coach, counsel, train? How do we help heal some of the past wound and trauma that we left upon our community way back when? And I like that, man. And like I say, you being a natural funny dude, yeah. Like I tell you right now, man, sometimes I just listen to you on my way to work or whatever, and it's some of the things you be saying, you put on the white gloves, and man, you beat the living daylight out of people without even trying, man. Man, you know, like I say, bro, um, God bless me with the gift. I enjoy it. Um, whenever, whenever I can make someone happy, some smile or laugh, I turn my channel just to enjoy the content, and I'm doing my job, you know. So it's all forms of charity, you know, to help people out, you know, when they die. Okay. And that's what it's all about, man. Like I said, I seen. Are you planning on any more giveaways, man? You know, because I want to get up on the next time you, you know, right now do that thousand dollar giveaway. Well, I already promised that once, once go will I make it to a hundred thousand subscribers. That I was gonna do another thousand dollar giveaway. Okay. So like, that's already locked in. That's like twenty thousand, what, less than twenty thousand away? Yes, sir. Less than twenty thousand. Yes, sir. Away, so man. so if you could reach out to some people, let them subscribe, so we can hurry up and get the money out. 
Hey, hey, look, you you see me, man. <laughs> hey, I remember when you first started. You know, you was way behind. Oh. And then right now, I told you, I said, look, man, you keep it going at your pace. I, I, I knew you was going to blow it, you know. But once again, unfortunately, I lost um, asset to my channel, over 64,300 subscribers. So right now, I had to start all over, man. So right now is I'm at 3,100 right now. And you know what? Sometimes you got to crawl before you can walk. But I look at it like this. If I did it before, I can do it again. I can do all things through Christ which right. me. A God before me who can be against me. But once again, to me, not yeah. having that defeated purpose, that defeated mind. Not, oh shit, this guy just came out. You know, he got 80,000 and being on some jealous or hateful stuff. Nah, it ain't about that. My objective is right now, the same way we powwow when you first came out, it's the same energy, man. It's the same love. It's the same mindset, man. Don't you got, you got a son. Your son is facing a murder charge right now, right? Yes. Um, wait, before I answer that, I have 82,000 in count. Now, uh, uh, yeah, uh, my son, yeah. <laughs> my son is facing a double homicide in the feds. Mm -hmm. And even right now, yeah. what type of advice was you able, uh, you know what I'm saying, to give him, to encourage him, to enlighten him, to help him during, you know, this difficult time? He a Muslim too, so I tell him make sure he pray. Uh, he called me all day every day, um, but I let him know. Just like how Cash Money was there for me, he have a father that's been there, and that's gonna be there for him. So just remain patient, and we're gonna let it play out. We're gonna let it see what's going what's gonna happen, you know. But uh, he's in good, good, good health, good spirit, you know. You know, he's, he's just like any other youngster. How when we first go in chasing them girls, we want to talk to this one, this baby mama, this one, true. okay, let me go out of this baby mama, you know, something to keep your big going, but um, he's going to be all right, man, I'm going to make sure he's okay. Okay, and it's something you just made mention, doing 23 years and 10 months and having support, you had the support, you know, your mom's other family member, your brothers and them, cash money wrecked so once again, any and everybody know about Cash Money Wreck and who they are. And but imagine having somebody that powerful behind you, like you said right now, is making, you know, right now is that bid a little bit more bearable to deal with because you got people that are away and they moving from state to state. They don't have nobody. So how fortunate or how blessed did you feel to have your family and cash money record behind you? Very, very, very blessed because it's hard uh, doing time. And I've, I've witnessed a lot of guys um, join gangs, uh, do some strength for the change, uh, you know, pick up different uh, hustles in prison to survive, to make it. You know, I seen one guy do this, um, a Puerto Rican guy. He used to do sexual favors to get by, right? And... When he got ready to get out of prison, he grew his mustache back, let his hair, got his cut his hair, I mean, got his stuff together. And I was like, what's up, you back in your man stage now? He said, yeah, man, my baby mother coming to pick me up. I said, well, hold up. He said, man, I just used to do that just to survive while I'm in prison. Now that I'm getting out, I'm going to my baby mom. I was like, wow, that stuff blew me, man. But it's all kind of stuff in prison, man.